Evening, everybody. Um, just been asked to come and say a few words. To be fair, it's uh, all it's going to be is a few thank yous, if I'm really honest. Um, the committee, the chairman, Dave, Keith, Ben, and Tom, for giving me this opportunity to uh, try and take this club forward. Um, you've seen what we're all about the last the last nine games. So hopefully, nothing's going to be changing. Only. Uh, a little bit more better attacking football and plenty more results. So another thank you is for the skipper. He's been a great, great asset for the link between myself and obviously the rest of the boys. Uh, didn't know much about him, knew one or two, but yeah, he's been uh, he's been a great, great help. Give me a bit of advice on who plays where and, and what have you. Uh, the backroom staff, Mugger, uh, Sol. Danny Cox, they've been, been inspirational again. All, all club men, you know, and th this is what this club deserves. This is what it needs. Um, this is what I need with the, with the backing what I've got from these guys. Um, um, my number two, Hazard. You know, I've, I've not seen him play yet, but uh, he's, he's, told me, he's told me how good he is. And I think he might be uh, in line for one of these fantastic awards later. Uh, and last but not least is the players. You know, I'm not coming in and uh, waved any magic wand whatsoever. You know, we, we, we've, we've come in, we've put the base down on my beliefs uh, on how we should play football. It's these gentlemen what's actually been out there on the battlefield and implemented it. So, if we can have a big thank you for the players. While we're on a, a few thank yous, the bar staff, um, the wives and the kids, the, the mister, the husbands, every single Saturday, Tuesday, Thursdays, and the fans, you know, because this club wouldn't, wouldn't be anything without without the fans, including all the uh, the volunteers, which I know these this endless amount of volunteers, which clean the changing rooms, wash the kit, uh, a lot of things what goes on behind behind the scenes at a club like this, which, which sometimes does get uh, took for granted. So, big round of applause for the volunteers, please. Okay, that's all you get in, unfortunately, so uh, thank you. first couple of the awards and the first one is to the young player of the year and Jake I think you've won that mate it's Jake Green Ha, ha, ha. 
A big thank you to Dave Bill for staying to <coughs> present those awards. The next award is the leading scorer. So without any further ado, Stephen, Mr. Greenoff. Doyle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure who's won this actually, Lark, but uh, we'll let that over to Stephen. Okay. Thank you, Ian. The leading goal scorer with 19 league goals and three cup goals is Sean Harrod. decision for me to, to drop down the levels but um, I can honestly say I've enjoyed every moment um, of this season. Um, the players, obviously it hasn't worked out how we planned out to. We, we wanted to be a top half pushing for playoffs. Um, from a personal point of view, I, played, I feel like I played my best um, throughout the season. Obviously it ended with a bad, bad injury but um, I think what lifted me was obviously the gaffer coming in and we changed the way we played. Um, it really excited me and that was, wants me to be part of what, what's here. It actually reminds me of what we had at Burn Albion when we got promoted, you know, the, the personnel, the players, the way we play. And I want to be part of that next season, so um, that's pretty much what I want to say and I, I, I really want to be part of that and to be given this opportunity uh, means a lot to me. <clears throat> Sean, can you just, sorry, I didn't mean to let you sit down, mate. We've got the players play, if you want to present that, please, if you don't mind. Yeah. Well, you can't present He's been a legend over 10 years, yes, 10 years it will be, uh, definitely, he's been at this club and um, made his debut against FC United of Manchester as a substitute and has been a, a, a complete legend, completed 400 appearances this season. The player's player, ladies and gentlemen, is Adam Yates. Sellers Jewelers, who have stores in Matlock, Bakel, I think there's even one in Whitby as well, so uh, please support uh, CW Sellers if you want any more jewellery, and thank you, uh, thank you to them, and congratulations to Adam. Okay. The final award tonight goes to the Matlock Mercury um, Fans Player of the Year, was it as Stephen Thurkill. Chief Sports Writer, Sports Editor at the Chad Group of Newspapers, at, I think Dogs Times Group of Newspapers, to come and um, present the award. Thank you. Evening, everybody. Um, I'd just like to say, first of all, thank you very much for having us along here. Um, as a newspaper, obviously, absolutely delighted to be involved with the club and. Uh, We've, you know, we've loved following the fortunes of the club with the good times and, and the sort of bad times through the season. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed the coverage. Um, just a quick word of thank you. That coverage certainly wouldn't be possible if it wasn't for the good man on my left here. And he does an absolutely fantastic job for us. He's, a, you know, he's so professional, so reliable, you know, good quality stuff that he sends through. And you always know that I think he doesn't sleep at night because you get up in the morning and it's uh, six in the morning when you get up and there's an email from him at half three in the morning with match report and what the, uh, the boss is after yeah. saying. Was... <laughs> so, 
show that I'll continue the next season. And from a personal point of view, as I say, thank you very much for having me down here. It's uh, one of the sort of first times I've actually had the chance to come down and, and meet people involved with the club. And it's um, really wonderful to see the sort of uh, passion and the uh, enthusiasm that you all have. And um, you can see that there's good times coming around the corner. I mean, obviously, when you look at the results, they've, uh, you know, credit to you guys, credit to the players, of course. The uh, results have uh, really improved. And I bet you all can't wait for next season. I certainly can't already. And hopefully, it's going to be a, a good season. The foundation seems to be there and on and off the field. So, um, yeah, it's. Um, Really, a, really a pleasure to come down and a pleasure for us to be involved with you guys and we're going to look forward to that in a working relationship next season and hopefully me and Ian, we've got some plans for even bigger and better coverage, so let's hope so. Um, and then, without further ado, a very worthy winner picking up his second award of the night, the Yamala Mercury Player of the Year, Yamala Town Player of the Year, Adam Yates. everything what goes off um, give 100% every week that, that's that's just me that's what I do I, I love playing for the club I've played it's coming up to 10 years um, I wouldn't have been anywhere else to be honest I've had, I've had chances to go elsewhere but it's it's for me and my wife it's just it's it's been the place where I've kind of enjoyed being the most um, there's a lot of the players still one of one or two have been here for years and stuff and appreciate that and thanks for your votes. Um, the Matt Lock Mercury Award, I think it might have been the second time I've won that and <laughs> No it, it means a lot coming I mean, from the fans as well so yeah it mean, it means a lot and just thanks for everyone who voted. Um, I'm gonna do a little interview with James after and stuff and he's gonna I'm gonna go through a few a few things about how the season has panned out so hopefully you can you can get that on social media or whatever. But yeah, thank you very much. 